What is going on, everyone? So yesterday, the Houston Texans interviewed Ben Johnson, the OC from the Lions, and today they interviewed Shane Steichman, the OC from the Philadelphia Eagles. But before I get into this video, I just love how these interviews are top candidates, right? Next is D'Amico, then it's Jonathan Gannon, then it's E. Joe Evero, then it's Sean Payton. These are the guys I want the Houston Texans to be interviewing long-term people because honestly... David Culley and Lovey Smith did not scream long term. Nonetheless, I love this head coaching search so far, and I'm just excited to talk about Shane Stockton, man, because this is another bright, offensive-minded, well-sought-after coach. 36 years old, he has the Philadelphia Eagles offense firing at all cylinders. They are the third-best offense in the league, 28 points per game. They maybe have the MVP in Jalen Hurts, and his development over the years has been absolutely crazy. A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, just pro bowl, all pro wide receivers. And you have to get credit to Shane Steichman, man. When I was doing my research about him, some of the stuff that popped out were his preparation and his love for the game of football. Not only was he a very successful OC with the Eagles, right? He was also an OC with the Chargers uh, with Justin Herbert and Phillip Rivers. But I'm just going to go down his resume for you guys. It started in 2010 as an offensive assistant. Goes to the San Diego Chargers from 2011 to 2012 where he's a defensive assistant. There was a funny story where he um, made a guy jump offsides using a hard QB count. And Phillip Rivers gave him a pat on the back. And those are kind of the fun little stories about how Shane just loves football, right? There's even stories about him dating all the way back to high school, breaking down film and everything was football, is football to Shane. It's a religion for him. But for but in 2013, he leaves San Diego, goes to Cleveland to be the offensive quality control coach. He's only there for one year, comes back to San Diego where he fills the same role, quality control coach from 2014 to 15. Then in 2016 and 19, he is the quarterback's coach, right? That is when the Chargers made their switch from San Diego to L.A. And then in 2019, he's the interim offensive coordinator. He backs that up with next year, offensive coordinator. Then 2021. Leaves to the Philadelphia Eagles, and the rest is history. We are not talking about him being a potential head coach for the Houston Texans, man. And, you know, some of the stuff that people praise is his ability to change his offense around no matter who his quarterbacks are, right? Justin Herbert and Jalen Hurts are two very different QBs, and both of these guys at one point were having MVP-type seasons when they were around Shane Steichman. Now, when you have either Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Will Levers, even if you want to throw Davis Mills in there, you want them around a guy who has been known for building young QBs. His teammate, Austin Coley, who also played for the Indianapolis Colts for a couple of years, he highlighted and talked about how football is a religion for Shane and that his preparation for the game kind of reminds him of Peyton Manning's and we're talking about a 36 year old coach right so at that time he was in his 20s and when you're talking about what kind of coach do you want for Houston do you want for the Texans this is the type of guy you want someone who's going to love this team as much as he loved the game of football you're seeing that he puts his all into a successful product on the field and it looks like no matter where Shane Steichman has gone there has been a successful product on the field so I would love if the Houston Texans go out and hire him and man it just feels good knowing that you're gonna have a chance to get one of the top coaches from this you know you know from this bucket list and it's just a matter of what Nick Casario thinks, what Cal McNair and Hannah McNair thinks, because they did an uh, interview on Sports Radio 6, and I'm going to break that down later on today. But nonetheless, man, Shane Steinman interview today. I am excited. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Go Texans. Y'all have a blessed day.